morning good morning good morning welcome to my channel um i thought we'd do a bit of creativity um you know me and my um scarf fabrics are the best to use for whatever i need them for i just find them so useful i was thinking what we might do is make a book mark for the Christmas journal now um, I don't know if you know how to crochet um, but we might put it there so or shall we I don't know I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking and look this thinking aloud is sometimes allowed because that's what gets our creativity going. So I need a page that I haven't used yet. So my thoughts on that is we'll put it somewhere there. And what we're going to do is also create a postcard at the same time. Now, I don't know how many of you know how to crochet, but the only way I know how to crochet is this way. And I used a strip of that fabric. I just tore into it. But I'm not going to actually use that. But this is if because if you've got limited supplies, you can use strips of fabric to crochet. That's all you do is just spread in and out, in and out, in and out. Now, instead, because I actually have got some embroidery thread. I did that but basically you've seen how I started it was basically again I just tie a little bit of a loop and thread it through my through my embroidery thing and then again it's there's People that are more experienced at this than me, I am not experienced at embroidery, but I watched a YouTube and I'm already mucking it up. So you put it in and out. And this is not going to turn out well because I'm already tangled up. But you get what I'm getting at. I've just got to get rid of that bit of thing that shouldn't be there. That's it. Now we're going to get somewhere. So in... I did mine loosely. You can go as tight fitted as you want it to. I'm not particularly stressed how loose or tight mine is. But you can have it tighter. Whoops. And this is the thing you've got to be careful. You got um, it looped around before. You let loose. And it's in and out. And this is what we create your little book mark or string, whatever you call it. There's mine. So that was a quick lesson in crocheting. And like I said, you can learn this off YouTube. Um, so what I'm going to do with mine, because I want it to come over this page, because I haven't designed this page yet. So I'm going to be able to design around it. Um, or maybe I might do it this way. Because then I can have it coming from there. So what you need to do. Well this is double. So you can actually use it as a double. But I don't really wish to do that. So I am thinking as... I'm going to cut some off and I'm going to loop that up so it doesn't fray away and there and then that is going to be glued there I'm going to take it to that center and because I'm collaging this will be covered up so you're not going to actually see it so you need some fabric glue. I 
I'm just thinking of little ideas we can add to our Christmas journals, or any journals really, but because we're working on Christmas, I thought, why not stick to Christmas? So what I'm doing is working it in so it sticks in there. And as you can see, my page has actually been gessoed. So we'll just give it a second to dry. And it will, because I will actually layer stuff on that. So it will hide my, my string. But at this point, I want it to be actually dry. Now, we can do all sorts of things with this. And I was thinking these, these chipboards. I absolutely love them. They're cheap as, and you can decorate them super quick. Um, so I'm going to see in my printables what I actually got that might fit in there. And, and all it means is I've got to cut something small and neat that will fit on that. And I need to decorate both sides. So I've got some pictures here. That I think I might utilise. These are prints that were given to me by Studio Image um, to use. Um, I belong in a group where there's a challenge going on and um, These, these happen to be a prize, these prints in that group. But I thought, I'm going to use it because it's a pretty good limited supplies technique. And we can actually produce something quite pretty using these chipboards. These chipboards only cost me around um, no more than... Trying to think. No more than... Um, three dollars on eBay. They come all the way from China. Now I am going to trim them. This one I'm going to do slightly because it's a smaller picture. I just don't want that jagged, jagged edge, ed edges showing. That one doesn't look too good. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to ink them well. So, basically, you can use anything you got to decorate something for a centre of your little bookmark. And I, I quite like these chipboard. I'm even thinking of adding one further up and then one further down. But with this video, we'll do one. Or oh, we could do two. Hang on, I'll just get another chipboard. This one's a longer one. It's a longer tag. And what I would do is I would really ink it. So you break up the actual chipboard. It's a very light. Like I said, 50 cents for 100, I think. I don't know. Look. Or $2. I can't remember. It's, I know it was not more than that. And to me, that is a bargain. And what better way to use them as your embellishment for your little for a bookmark? And they're light. They're as light as, because they're made out of that, um, not even two mil, not even a mil, I think, chipboard. 
so they feel lighter than actual thick cardboard. Now what I thought I'd do is, because we're going to decorate both sides, we might use a bit of cheesecloth. Um, I had the cheesecloth two seconds ago, but not to worry. We can use all sorts of things. So, this is not going to be wide enough for what I need it for, but anyway, we'll just give it a go. Um, and get our lace. I like layers. Um, I don't know about you guys, but layers is what grabs at me when I jump journal. Sorry. I've got a bit more lacy stuff here. And this is a scarf. I tea dyed it. I think I showed you in my thrift store um, video. So I'm just going to cut where I can use some of that nice tea dyed lace but I don't want to ruin my lace parts because I really really like using them um, look at how pretty that is it just makes for pretty layers and that's what we need it for And because I want to do both sides, I might cut some more. Just don't forget to leave where the hole is free. Or we might actually fit it through. So that's what we'll do before we decorate. So, I want the smaller one further up. So what I would do is fit it through. That's going to be a challenge. Jenny never thought of that. But I live and learn. Like, this is what um, junking is all about to me. It's just learning to use what I actually got. With the, oh, I, that, that slipped through. I just use what I've got, you know. No good going shopping um, for something that you might be able to cut out of a magazine. Um something you already got lying about. That's why I suggested if you've got muslin, that rips off so easy. You can do so much with it. Now, to keep it in place, because I want it towards the centre, I'm going to put that like that. Because I want it to stay put. And this one, we want it to stay on the outside. As an embellishment. And again, we'll, um, I'm actually thinking of taking it through that way. I wonder if it will go. Because I like having like a, um, a wood, um, a tag effect you know how you put it, loop them through I'm just seeing if that will work for me maybe not maybe it will maybe not like I said I did not overthink this I just decided I wanted to make a bookmark and that's what we're making and I want to loop it through again And there you go. Now we decorate. So you remove that aside. 
we get our glue and we start layering what we want to layer. And me, I want to layer lace um, or cheesecloth, whatever catches my fancy. I can layer paper if I want to, but I've decided that I want to see a bit of cheesecloth hanging out on one side. So that's what I'm going to lay. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to lay my lace. You can add whatever layers you like, whatever you like, um, how much thickness you like. As you've seen, I did not do no cutting, but I will once I've um, decided that this is how this is going to be. Then I'll cut and I'll add other little elements to decorate before I put my picture down. So I really love this and I these scarves, like honestly, if you can get a hold of them, they're really, really um, fun to use. I mean, if you go to the thrift store, like I said, you pay a couple of dollars for something that you're always going to utilise and you won't use it all at once, you know, like I just find it super, super handy to have. Now, I'm thinking I want it there since I've got the lace already on the other side. And I want to just lay it across. Like I said, do not over overthink things because what happens is when you overthink, you don't get anywhere. Like I find if I did this before I did the video, you know what? I ain't going to get anywhere. Where did it fly to? See what I mean about this? House, it's got ghosts. I'm sure sometimes it's got ghosts because things go missing or my eyes aren't working correctly. So let's cut another piece. Um, and I really love that strip there. So, again, not overthinking. I'm just going to lay it. Before I lay it, though, I thought I'd better get one of the pictures that I was going to use. Um, where are you? We're going to use Santa. Whoops. I don't want it moving around on me. So I want Santa to be that. See how I just didn't overthink it and I just laid him down and thought, well, it's up to Santa if he's going to look good or not. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of that off. And that doesn't go to waste. That gets utilised. Like, I use everything. I don't like wasting. I don't like um, anything like that because, to me, um... I'm going to find uses for it. And I normally sort of give it a bit of a, a push in, you know, like so it's. It's sort of, you know, with the bits hanging and a little bit of frame marks. And also, what I might do, I might put a bit of that gold embroidery that I did along it because I can you know like that's not going to fray off once I glue it and if it does it doesn't really matter does it and then I think it needs something else to complete that side so what we look for then is bling if you can find it there was so much stuff on my desk now i was tidied up before i started but it was like Ginny, get your act together and do do a little bit more craft along and get a bit motivated because i have not really been motivated this week i have got a lot going on so that's a distraction for me we might need that for somewhere else 
so you know um what i normally go for when i'm doing things like this is either buttons or um anything that looks so kind of cute you know um whether it's beads bling but i did have these nice little things but i can't find them so we're going to stick with the silver button which i don't know if it looked good but we're going to have a look it does and that's what you look out for is it going to look good if it doesn't look good don't add it but what i'm going to do is i've got some of this little bridal stuff and i'm going to just put it there and i'm going to make sure it's just hanging and then i'm going to get my button and i'm going to press that down hard onto my fabric glue and there you go we just completed that side of our project so we turn it over and let's play with this side i had a picture for this side and i hope it's still around but like everything it does tend to take walkabouts when i'm playing um there it is it's santa and his carriage and it's again a picture that i cut up quite short quite i mean printed out quite small so what i want to do is create something along there along that side and i want some of this bridal stuff again so it's it's real tiny thin stringy stuff but it does look good i need to give it some more glue so it actually stays attached and then i might utilize the rest of this gold and put that along there just for a little bit of i don't know color and i want me stringy me little beads to hang in now if i really really wanted to add something else i've got a little red um little red um i don't know just something that was hanging in the tray there so you see i've got my little thing but i'm thinking it needs something else and that something else is going to be these bits here so we don't waste you know like this is about not wasting and i'm just going to add that piece to here And again, all I've done is just not wasted my scraps. There you go. And then we can get the back. I've kept this simple, like utilizing what I've got. Because honestly, we all um, struggle this time of the year. We all do it hard and we want to make journals for Christmas. We want to do this. We want to do that. And, you know, the only way I know is to just basically keep things simple. So there's that part of the bookmark done. Now we need to do the other part. So there you go. So now if you haven't got these, all you need is chipboard. Make them out of chipboard. So again, I'm going to utilize some lace on one side and I want it to be practically all over. But I might find different lace for the rest, for the behind. Um, because I like to be different. So I might use a bit of this one. Actually, no, I don't want to use that one. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of hunting where we go. I'm going to use a bit of this. 
just a change of texture, change of um, something different. And I will lay that across there. And again, I will just put a bit of that. And down the, I want something hanging. So, of course, I'm going to go to my trusty friend, the scarf. And cut what I need. Because I just love bits of pieces hanging down. And then it's just a matter of finding something to layer over that car, that tongue. Um, tag what i like like i said about these chipboards they're so light i mean super duper light so i do really want to make sure that glues in and then i've got to hunt another little picture go to my trusty prints and I just love the size I printed these in because they are so handy for what I need them for. And, you know, when something's really handy, why not utilize it? Um, make it small. My cutting leaves a lot to be desired, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're junking. And that's what you've got to look at that. You are actually junking. So again, we'll go to my trusty um, friend here, the um, good old Distress Ink. You haven't got that. You use shoe polish. It's amazing effects what you can create with good old shoe polish. Now, I've decided I wanted a bit of cheesecloth because I want to have some fray bits hanging. So that piece might be okay. And I'm going to add the glue straight up front, a little bit extra there, so I know it's going to pop out and show on the other side. And I'm going to stick it down. But I'm not happy where it's stuck down. So luckily that was already glued. And I'm going to do a little bit that way. Then, because I want some interest right up here. Because this is going to be hanging off my journal. So I just want it hanging out outside my journal. I wanted to add that. Then I'm going to turn it around and carefully... I hope you can see that layer some more stuff because we want to finish it off because to me if we're going to do this little technique we do want in a lot of interest because it's going to hang out and like I said you want it to showcase in your journal as something cute so again I'm going to layer and I don't care if it's hanging right down because I am going to cut some more of this trusty friend of mine. And you notice this part of the scarf is more likely that your, your lace work and that is a little bit more less to what you've got in the center. So I always tend to keep these bits for, whoops, where I need them. So now we need something else. We're going to add some more interest because Ginny doesn't want to let it go at that. And I've got a little tiny tag here that I like. So I thought we'll ink that up. I'm not going to put nothing on it, but I have got a stamp that I might put my initial on. But I don't know where that stamp is at this point. So we're just going to basically... have that hanging off it and I want to make sure that it glues on there 
like I said, I'm adding interest to this journal. So I just want to make sure it stays glued. I'm real wasteful with my glue girls. Don't be wasteful like me because you don't need as much glue as what I add. And I'm a problem child like that. <laughs> Good words to use. Um, again, I want to hang stuff down here. But I'm not going to fully press it down because I need a picture. And I've already decided what I want. I want this little one up here. Like I said, you notice I'm not worried how I cut my picture. So it's good sometimes to print out your prints on the smaller scale because you're going to get to use them. So it's that and that. And we're going to get that ink. And we're going to ink it well. And I need to find a bit of blink to finish this off. So simple and easy, wasn't it? Your hardest part really is just doing your, um, uh, what's it called? The, um, now I want to really, really fix that up. I want it to sort of. So your hardest part's going to be is basically doing your crocheted thing, which, like I said, there's stacks of it. I want to put a charm on that as well, for interest sake. And I'm going to put it there before it sticks down. And then that way this is done as well. So it, it doesn't take long to put it together. So now I'll make sure that's glued down properly. And then this is done. Okie dokie. But I want to find just a little bit of bling to put on that. So give me two seconds. We've got to have that bling. It's Christmas, so we've got to have blink. And I'm going to bling it just there. So look at the character you added to your journal. All from just simple scrappy bits that you're not doing anything with. 